Okay, so I figured I'd talk about the books that I read in September. Um, no, it's August. The books that I've read in August. <laughs> <laughs> the first one I read was Treasure Island. I actually listened to it on Audible. Um, it was a fun read. It was definitely more gruesome than I was expecting. I thought it had a lot of adventure and mystery to it. Um, I also thought the, the version that they offered on Audible, which was free this month, which was really cool, I thought they did a really good job. Um, the mother in the book, I was expecting to hate her, to be honest. When they first introduced her in the book, I was expecting to not like her. She seemed so rude. But then as time progressed, I started to really love her and I kind of respected her a lot. Um, the other characters I thought were very interesting and very fun to read. I liked how the different personalities clashed in this book. Um, I think the hardest part was it, it was a little bit more gruesome than I was wanting for like a, a kid book. And so that's why I probably gave it a, P, a B minus. But I definitely thought it was a fun book. Um, the second one, <laughs> when I clicked to read it, to listen to, again, this is another one that I listened to, to on Audible. When I clicked it, I was thinking it was a self-help book. I'm not sure why. I didn't look at it too long, so that's probably why. But it was actually a kid's book. Um, it was a little kid coming of age book, and it was called Christie's Great Idea. It was a cute little book. I definitely... It didn't take very long to get through. It was only three hours, and it was a lot of fun. I thought it... It kind of took me back to a time when people trusted other people and, um, you know, you could you could drop off your kid to be able to sit for somebody and not worry about them. And I just thought it was so cute and adorable and it just brought back all these warm memories. I liked how Chrissy had to figure out her relationship with this guy that her mom was dating and I liked how they kind of approached that in this book and I liked how they didn't just make her out like make anybody to be a horrible person. You kind of had to see the different angles to everybody and I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really kids book. It's definitely on the older side. Um, so yeah, it's definitely not from this decade. <laughs> it feels like it was filled. It feels like it was back in the day when like, you know, you knew who your neighbors were, but I thought it was fun. I gave it a B. Um, the next a couple of books I actually read were, well, I listened to again, were from Tom Clancy. I don't normally read or listen to his books, but um, they had already been bought on the Audible that I use, so I figured I would listen to them. The first one was called Point of Contact. I was really interested in this book at the beginning part, um, mainly because usually with Tom Clancy's books, he usually has this male character, the main male character, who is very tough, very in the military, very strong, very handsome. Like I think the typical person that most guys would want to be. And so in this, uh, this book, there was this character and he was kind of on the older side, a little bit chubby, and he was an accountant. And he was extremely nice. And because of all those characteristics in this character, I became really intrigued. I really liked him from the get-go and I was interested to see like exactly his part in this book. Um, I was kind of disappointed where the book went to, what happened to that accountant character, um, but it was a good read. It was entertaining and I did enjoy it, um, but yeah, it wasn't my favorite Tom Clancy book. Um, I thought that there could be more for that character. So, well, for all the characters, to be honest. So I gave it a C plus. It was, it was passable. I enjoyed it, but it didn't really do too much for me. The second Tom Clancy one I read was Term Limits, and that one I thought was vastly more interesting, mainly because of the main plot in that book, and it's kind of talking about the corruption in government and what the people deserve, and basically it kind of starts out with some some of these really corrupt um, political people being murdered. And the group that's murdering them is saying it's because they are doing all these things that are hurting the country. And I really liked the, the conflict in the book. I thought it was very interesting. I love the idea of like kind of it going off of the idea, like when is it okay 
for the people to say this isn't okay anymore you know and um I actually was reading this book right after I read the Scarlet Pimpernel which is talking about in, in France how they have that um the revolution I thought it was just so interesting to read both of those at the same time because obviously you don't want a corrupt government but at the same time you don't want to be murdering all these people and being like, and creating a mob so I thought that one was very interesting I thought the ending was pretty good but it didn't it didn't quite do it for me so I, I wanted a little bit more on that one but I gave it a B plus I definitely recommend like if you're gonna read one Tom Clancy book I definitely recommend term limits I thought it was fun um, the next one I actually read with my husband. We read it together out loud, and it's called The Fifth Wave. I know that book was a lot more popular back in the day. I remember the movie coming out, and I didn't read the book then. I did read it now. Um, I thought the beginning part was super interesting. The book is about um, aliens coming and basically invading. But the way that the book goes about it, I thought was really interesting how the aliens actually did the invading. And I thought the, the premise was very interesting. The main, girl, the main girl is Cassie. And I'm not going to lie, after a certain point in the middle of the book, it got really boring. I, I wasn't as interested in her story, but more interested in some of the other characters that were happening. And so I, I was kind of disappointed that that happened. I definitely think the author could have made it way more interesting, especially with what was actually going on there um, at that time in the middle of the book. Um, towards the end, it did get a little bit more interesting again. And I, again, wasn't totally satisfied with the way that it ended, but I am going to read the next book after this, and then I'll give you my total thoughts of the whole series, because I only believe there's only two, two books. So um, we'll have to see. I am going to read it, so I'm interested enough to finish the series, but I did give it a B, mainly because that middle part was, was so boring. Um, this, the last, well, the second to last book that I read is The Scarlet Pimpernel. I already kind of talked about how I read it, but um, it was a lot of fun. I did a book, uh, book review on it already on my channel, so if you're interested, go ahead and look on there. Um, it was adventurous, it was interesting, there was a lot of great characters. Um, I will say Marguerite was not my favorite character. Um, I was kind of disappointed with, with how she was written and portrayed. Um, I definitely feel like the movie that I saw when I was a kid was better. <laughs> the, the Margaret in that movie was better. Um, but yeah, I, I did enjoy it and I gave it a B plus. I definitely think that it's worth reading. Um, the last book that I read this month is actually kind of different than all the other ones. Um, it was the the book that's pretty popular now. It's called To All the Boys That I Loved Before. That one, that one was fun. It was very easy to read, easy to get through. Um, I think I finished it in like two or three days. Just very, very easy. I do think it's funny in those books how like she she's constantly talking about what she's eating. And I mean, it wasn't a terrible thing, but I just think it's funny, like, why she would bring that up. I don't know, but um, I thought the characters in that book were interesting. I liked the dynamic between Lara Jean and her sister Margot. I liked the, how they were close together and, like, the, the conflicts that happen when someone goes to college. Because I've lived that. I have sisters, too. And so it, make, it was interesting to read again and kind of experience those motions again. Um, the one person that really I just did not like, and I think I was supposed to like him more, was um, Josh, the neighbor. I felt like he was very, um, what's the word? He, he came off across like he knew better than Laura Jean. He was constantly telling her, oh, this, you shouldn't do that, you should do this, and, and things like that. And I just, I didn't find him very... I don't know, worthwhile in this book. I thought the Peter and her kind of conflict was way more interesting. And I understand Joss kind of made the thing, the book start, but I just didn't find his character that, that great. Um, I gave the book a B. It was fun to read. It was lighthearted. All the characters, I feel like a lot of times with those kind of books where it's mainly about the romance, the characters kind of start to grind on my nerves a little bit. I find them a little bit irritating, usually because like there's a lot of pointless drama. But I felt like this one wrote it was 
written in a more mature way that wasn't grating. Um, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, that was all the books that I read this month. I'm hoping to read more next month, especially since I'm going to be starting sooner in the month. <laughs> but yeah, I had a lot of fun and I hope you check out some of these books. Thank you.